strong. This is Anna and today is Monday, August 17, 2020. Welcome back to the new school year. We hope you have a fun and safe summer. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for a moment of silence where we reflect on today's activities and focus on demonstrating our best behavior. Please be seated. Remember that while we are back in school, be respectful of physical distancing and keep your mask on where you cannot distance yourself six feet from each other. Along with physical distancing, the water fountains are no longer available, so please bring water from home. There will be random temp checks, so be prepared. Homeroom will now be from 7.40 to 8.20, but you will be late if you are not in your seat by 8.10. Class schedule will be the same as last year and will be posted on the walls in your classes. This year, we will be eating in the classroom. Teachers will be managing class change and locker breaks. When switching class, please listen to your teachers so everything will run smoothly. Sixth graders, remember that you must go to the cafeteria in the morning before homeroom. Students, remember that you need to have your forms filled out and handed back to your teacher by Friday. Today is National Nonprofit Day. This recognizes the goals and positive impact nonprofits have on communities such as Relay for Life, and Red Cross. Don't forget, a warrior is always responsible, respectful, and ready to learn. And now for the character lesson. Good morning, good warriors. This is Isabella with a few words of wisdom. The first day of school can be both exciting and scary. You probably woke up this morning a little apprehensive. Maybe you wondered, what will my teacher be like? Who will I sit with at lunch? Guess what? Feeling nervous is completely normal. In fact, the person sitting next to you, the person behind you, and the teacher at the front of the class probably had some of the same thoughts and feelings you did. The first way to ease anxiety is to recognize how you are feeling and know that you're not alone. The next way you can make yourself feel better is by saying something nice to somebody else. Ask the person next to you what his or her schedule is. Find something about the person to compliment. Tell your teacher you are looking forward to a new and exciting year. Sometimes the best way to lessen your own fears is to say something positive and ease someone else's fears first. With something to think about, this is Isabella. Make it a great day or not, the choice is always yours. Good morning, Booth Warriors. This is Kevin bringing you the weather for Monday, August 17, 2020. The high for today will be 92 and the low will be 71 with a 20% chance of rain. There will be no recess today. The high for tomorrow will be 91 with a low of 73. Have a great day, Warriors. Good morning, Booth Warriors. This is Kevin bringing you the lunch menu for Monday, August 17th, 2020. For your entrees, you will have a choice of spaghetti and meatballs with garlic breadstick, southern style chicken sandwich, or a jammer pack. For your sides, you have an option of green beans, steamed carrots, shredded lice with sliced tomatoes, watermelon, or a chocolate chip cookie. And as always, a choice of milk. Have a great day, warriors. Warriors, we got our booth masks today. 
Let's avoid losing them or getting them mixed up. Turn them over right now and write your name inside. Go on, do it right now. It'll save you a lot of grief when it drops next to someone else's by accident. Why do you wear your mask? Hi everyone, this is Joseph Barrow, superintendent of schools. You may not recognize me with my mask on, but I do want to let you know there are several things that we're doing to encourage safety uh, as we begin our start of school. Uh, watch your distance, wash your hands, and last but certainly not least, wear your mask. Uh, I know there's some discussion about is that necessary or not. Uh, my position is this. I care about my neighbors. I care about my friends. I care about my students. I care about my teachers. And wearing a mask is not really that big of a hardship. So I want to encourage everyone as you start back to school, wear your mask, keep your neighbors and your friends safe. Thank you wear my mask to help keep others safe. Hello, I wear my mask to protect you and you wear your mask to protect me. So please wear your mask to protect you, the students, the teachers, your families, and the rest of the community. Thank you. Hi, Ms. Bannon. I love your mask. Oh, thank you. I'm being respectful by wearing my mask. I want to keep my friends and my family members safe. I like your mask too, Ms. Sanders. Thank you. I want to be safe too, Ms. Bannon, because it's important that we keep our distance and wear our mask. I wear my mask because I want to do my part in keeping my family, neighbor, and myself healthy and to not spread this disease. We wear our mask because we love our family. We wear our mask because my mom just tested positive and I'm trying to protect myself and those around me. We wear a mask to keep us safe and other people safe. I wear my mask because it keeps me safe. My mask protects you, your mask protects me. Let's work together. Why do you wear your mask? Do your part. Mask up, FCPS. Be strong. Be strong.